more than a third of you. S counties are in a COVID-19 red zone, indicating high levels of community transmission and hospitalization, while less than a quarter of counties are in the green zone, a marker of low community transmission and hospitalization levels, according to data from the center. That's how many new COVID hospital admissions the U.S. averaged per day in the seven-day period ending July 12, up 14% from the week before and more than three times the average of one. 428 per day in early April, though numbers remain much lower than during the winter coronavirus surge, when daily age. Several northern states, including Maine, where 100% of counties had low COVID community levels, Michigan, New York, Vermont and New Hampshire had some of the highest percentages of counties in the COVID green zone. The highly transmissible Omicron subvariant BA. 5 and closely related substrain BA. 4 have sparked a rise in coronavirus infections in recent weeks. The strains were first discovered earlier this year in South Africa, where they became dominant, and eventually made their way into the U.S. in late March. By late June, BA. 4 and BA. 5 had become the prevailing substrains of COVID in the U.S. together. They now make up roughly 82% of all coronavirus infections in the U.S. As of the week ending July 9, while BA. 5 on its own comprises 65% of cases, according to CDC estimates. Cases are on the rise in several other countries around the world, including the United Kingdom. COVID deaths in the U.S. have remained low, however, hovering around 300 per day since April. The Food and Drug Administration is asking pharmaceutical companies to target the new BA. 4 and BA. 5 subvariants in a retooled COVID booster shot drug companies hope will be available in October, 